Hi, I'm Melissa, and today I'm going to make sparkling ginger lemonade. It's a really yummy, good twist on your classic lemonade. So you're going to want to gather your ingredients first. Um, you want to get ginger, honey, a good amount of honey. Um, it takes a cup of honey. You want four lemons, um, water, and some club soda or seltzer water. So when you go to the grocery store to get your ginger, you should to check to see if it's nice fresh ginger, break a piece of it and make sure it's nice and bright yellow and even smell it. If you smell the ginger, then you know it's nice and fresh. If you break it open and it looks like kind of colorless or even like green tinge and you don't really smell it that strongly, then it's not good. You want good fresh ginger. So you're going to want to take your ginger and peel it um, with a peeler and then grate it. I grated mine with my microplane and then I just measured it out. You want two tablespoons of fresh ginger. So measure that out. Then you're going to want to measure out two cups of water. Um, it could be hot water because we're going to end up steeping this on the stove. And then measure out a cup of honey. So we're going to take our honey, our water, and our ginger over to the stove and we're going to put it in a big skillet and um, put it on like medium high heat because you want to get it up to like a simmer. Once it starts simmering, you're going to take it off the heat and then cover it and let it steep for 10 minutes. And then in the meantime, while that's simmering and steeping, we're going to squeeze all our lemons um, to get the lemon juice. In the meantime, while the ginger, uh, it's basically ginger tea, while that is heating up on the stove, we're going to squeeze our lemons. So we need four, about four lemons worth of juice. It's going to be a cup of juice. Usually one lemon is about a quarter of a cup of juice, that's why I'm saying four, but sometimes you might need a little bit more, so I would get four to six, just in case. Alright, so we squeezed all our lemons. I squeezed four. Now I'm going to measure it and make sure it's a cup of juice. We're almost at a cup, so I'm just going to squeeze one more. A good tip when you're squeezing lemons to get juice is to roll it out on the counter first. Um, you'll feel it start to get like mushier. This is like breaking up all the the insides of the lemon. It's, it's going to make it easier to get the most juice out of the lemon. While I was squeezing those lemons, my ginger tea came to a simmer and I took it off the heat and I covered it and it's steeping right now. Okay, now I have a cup of juice. So we're gonna wait until the ginger tea is done steeping and then we're gonna combine everything into our pitcher. Okay, so our tea is all done. It's steeped for 10 minutes after it was done steeping. Um, I just put a strainer over this pitcher and we poured it into the pitcher and strained out all the ginger and chucked that so there's no um, ginger pieces floating in here. So this is still hot. Um, you have an option here. Either you could put this, just the tea, in the fridge and let that get cold or what I'm going to do is put it all together in this and then I'm going to let it get cold in the fridge um, and like not assemble after. So we have the tea in here. This is two cups, right? And a cup of lemon juice I'm going to pour in. And then I have, oh I need this though. And then I have um, sparkling water, 
So I'm just gonna measure out two cups of sparkling water. And this will make this recipe This recipe will make about um, enough for like four servings. I doubled it the last time I did this for a barbecue that had like eight to 10 people, I think. And it was gone by the end of the day. Okay, so that's it. We can mix it. slices of this leftover lemon to put on top. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna go in the fridge and then I'm gonna pour out a nice glass for myself and tell you how it tastes. So this has been in the fridge for a couple hours. I poured a, a glass for myself and put some ice in it. And it's really good. It's got that um, little bubble from the seltzer and it tastes, you could taste the honey in it since it's sweetened with honey instead of sugar, um, which might actually be a, maybe a little bit healthier since we don't have any refined sugar in here. And the ginger tea is good for you too. You, could, you get a little bit of a bite from the ginger. So I hope you try this recipe. I hope you like it. Um, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Everybody have a great day.